Hey guys, in today's video we have some uh, products for DJI Osmo Action from the company named Telesyn and uh, we're going to review a bunch of them, see what the build quality is, see what the general quality is, how they fit, uh, what's their purpose and uh, we'll compare them to uh, the original case the DJI Action 4 comes with and yeah there are some competitors out there to tell us in but i'll try to uh, explain what the differences are uh, we have the combo cage for uh, the action 4 and action 3 we have the waterproof case uh, we have some andy filters and this is a chest mount from telesyn of course the chest mount is universal for all action cameras it's not specific for the action uh, action 4 but yeah Let's start with the smallest package for these, which is the combo cage. I'll move those to the side. There's nothing else in the box. We have a small card with disclaimer and some notes. It's basically saying uh, the cage is not going to uh, do anything if you drop it with more than 60 kilometers per hour, but I don't think I will. This is the cage. There is a very nice build quality, very nice feel in the hands. It's metal, it's solid, it's uh, heavy, definitely heavier than the plastic one that comes in the box. Uh, as you can see, there's a small button on the top side, which when you press, it pops right out and you need to slide in uh, the action for when you are done you click it and it locks in place uh, general overview before we slap the action for inside coach room mount on the top coach room mount on the left side a quarter inch uh, thread for attaching other accessories such as coat shoes lights and so on there's nothing at the bottom this is where you're going to attach your uh, mag magnetic mount and you can attach your magnetic mount on this side as well. This is magnetized. We see that there's a there is something written. It's Telesyn cage. Telesyn cage on this side. And that's basically it. Let's see how the action four fits inside. lock it into place and it fits really snug there's no movement whatsoever it fits really nice around the uh, display edge around the front on the front screen i'm curious to see if uh, the nd filters can be put on top of uh, this lens with I, th I see that there's a cutout in the cage, but let's see. Uh, you can access your Type-C charging slot. You cannot access your battery compartment, which for some might be, uh, might be a downside for the cage, but in general, this shouldn't be an issue for most of you guys. You can still film and charge at the same time since you have access to the Type-C slot and you can plug in mics from uh, with the Type-C slot. We have access to our recording button, which is on the top. We have access to our quick switch button. And as I said, we have access to the magnetized button. This is the original DJ, uh, DJI mount. It fits really nice. As you can see, it fits very flush with the cage on both sides and it's very nice let's see how it mounts on the side 
just like this. Again, really nice. No movement whatsoever. So you can shoot vertically. Here you go. And the cool thing about this is that you can attach a mic at the bottom and a light on the right side. So you can vlog and basically have the perfect setup always, just in the palm of your hands. You always have great video quality. Let me quickly pull up my accessories for the Action 4. I'll slap in a mic and I'll slap in a, slap in a video light and see how it looks with everything mounted. So guys, here we have all of our uh, vlogging accessories. We have a small video light from Yulanzi, which I have to say, it's very nice. Three different, four different stages of light. We have the vlogging uh, tripod, which is really nice. It's extendable. It has some legs to it. We have our boom mic. And we have a quarter uh, quarter inch uh, screw, so I'm going to show you how we are going to use this one if needed. But first, you mount your mic at the top coat shoe. You mount your light at the side coat shoe. And you simply attach your tripod. And there you go, guys. You have a complete vlogging setup which you can put in your pocket, uh, carry around in your backpack, or if you have a small sling, and you're going to have awesome quality every time. Other way you could use this is you could remove this coat shoe attachment from the light, slap in the quarter inch thread, the screw, and simply screw it on this side. And there you go, same thing, same setup, but you still have a free coach rule. I don't know what you're going to use it for, but you still have a coach rule mount. You might want to attach your uh, mobile phone holder if you want to have a bigger screen to monitor yourself, or I'm not sure, but you have it. It provides an awesome functionality for the price. This costed me like, I don't know, maybe 35 bucks. I'll have to check, but yeah. There are other options outside. I think Smodic makes one. Uh, from the pictures, it looks like it's built like a tank, but it doesn't have the second coach you mount. I think the benefit on the Smodic is that you can open the battery compartment, but that's it. If I have to pick and if I have to choose again, I'm still going to pick this one for uh, because of the two coach you mounts. Uh, yeah. That's basically it for the cage. Let me put it aside just for now. And let's see the waterproof case. Nothing inside the box. This is the cage. They packaged the screw. I don't know why they did that. But yeah, your standard quarter inch screw. You open it, you open the cage by pulling the top part and open the, uh, the door, the back door. And again, telesync card some coffee mirror cage and Furio it trusted. Here the hinge was so rusty that I was not able to open it close at some point. You have some of these, I don't know what they actually are, but you put them inside and they prevent fogging. And now to the case, it's 
really nice quality. I have to say it's not some cheap plastic. It doesn't feel cheap. It's definitely built very well built. The latch has a um, very big tension to it and it latches perfectly. You have a rubber seal here, a rubber seals here. Then you have a, a something soft. I don't know what the material exactly is for your lens. And let's see how it fits. Yep. And you just latch it into place. Very tight and snug fit. As you can see, there's no gap where water can pass by. And same thing, you just attach it to, if you have a floating handle, uh, I have one, but it's just not very close to me right now. But you just attach it, screw it on, and you can basically dive in. Uh, I've taken a look at the DJI original case, and I have to say, for the price, it doesn't have anything more than that. It's rated for 65 meters of depth that you can go. But first, come on. Me or everyone else normal that doesn't scuba dive or it's not going to go on that depth because it requires a lot of preparation, a lot of experience. And yeah, if I have to guess, the build quality is exactly the same, but the DJI comes at a much higher price. I bought this for like, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks. And the DJI costs like 70 or 80, not sure uh, about the exact price at the moment. Uh, I'll slap some links in the description. I'll link everything that I'm reviewing here. Uh, I have to say that I bought everything with my own money. Uh, nothing was sent to me for free. So this is my honest opinion. Let me unlatch that. Pop the camera out. And yeah, there's nothing more to it. It's basically just an extra layer of protection for your camera. They're saying that you can dive with uh, about 18 meters without any protection whatsoever, but I don't believe that. My uh, Osmo Action, the first edition, uh, the first action, it got flooded like two times. First time they replaced it for free, and the second time they did something to repair it. I don't know, they opened it, they changed some of the inner components, but it got flooded two times for, I don't know, about a five meter or something, five meters or something. I was just uh, chilling at, at the shore, uh, diving for, as I said, five meters or something, and it got busted two times. So yeah, I don't believe their ratings, and this is why I'm going to use this guy. Let's move to the next thing, which would be the ND filters. They basically come in a cardboard box. If you have a pouch where you can store your filters, this is the way to go because this is not very durable for you to carry around. It's just a cardboard box, nothing else. And we have the CPL, the ND8, ND16, and ND32. Those four filters should be perfectly fine for 95% of the conditions you're filming. Of course, if you're filming in a scorching bright environment, you might need the ND64 on the, or the ND128. But for regular day vlogging, you shouldn't go past the ND32 in most of the situations. Let's pull them out. And see how they fit. They have a protective scrubbing on the nose, and so we can peel them off. On camera, what the difference is. So this is going to be your ND8. Your ND16. And your ND32. There's no point in putting this uh, in front of the camera lens because it's just a CPL. 
it's not going to do anything it's not going to change the picture and filming cannot control the environment there there's no sunlight let's see how they fit Ooh, really snug fit they fit really nice let me try yeah can you see that i'm holding it by the lens and it doesn't slip well it slipped eventually but really nice and snug fit nice let me see if they actually fit with the cage the filter yeah they fit so nice as you can see they fit by a, by a hair there's not much space in here but the cage is made to fit their own filters of course what we have for this video it's going to be your chest mount from telesim Some instructions how you should be wearing it. This is the plate where you mount this. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the direction you film. And yeah, let's see. Another thing, yeah, one of, one of those disclaimer with notes from Telesin. This is how it looks. It's currently baby sized, I think, but you need to adjust the straps so they fit you. And let's see how this mounts. Nope. Like that. And I believe you can mount it in a different direction. You need to press this. It's a bit difficult to pull it out, actually. Yeah. You can unlock it. Like so. Lock it back in. You can mount it, you can't mount it from the bottom. So it really goes just from from the top. Just like that. And of course, you just Slap your Osmo action in here, tighten it with the screw, and you're good to go. You can adjust the position of it. You can go like i'm i don't know that's like 45 degrees if you want to show that your feet something something that you're working on the ground if you like to shoot above above your chest level you need to get this out mount it from the top and now you can shoot at a higher angle you can shoot you can basically as you can see point it at the sky Really nice, and of course, if you want to do content for TikTok or Instagram, you just slap this on the side, 
and film like that. Really nice. I'm going to test all of these products outside, see how they feel. And in order for me to say more about the quality, I need to use them for some time. I actually need to go scuba diving with uh, this cage. But everything seems uh, above the average quality. The small rig stuff, they cost like more than two times everything in here. Only the cage, I think, is about 80 bucks. I haven't paid 80 bucks for in this entire order. Yeah. I hope this helps, guys. I hope it gives you a bit of an understanding uh, what you can expect from Telesin and their products. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.